The waters around Antarctica are home to hundreds of species, like penguins and whales. A new study out of CU Boulder suggests these waters could be in big trouble. We conducted the study to further investigate what happens very close to the shoreline where most of these organisms live. Nicole Lewandowski is the interim director of CU Boulder's Institute of Arctic and Alpine Research and co-author of a study on Antarctica's coastal waters and what is happening to them. We found that the acidity of the waters in coastal Antarctica is likely to double by the end of the century. Ocean acidification occurs when carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere from the burning of fossil fuels. About a third of that CO2 gets absorbed by the ocean. Once dissolved, the gas combines with the water and forms something called carbonic acid. The more the CO2, the more acidic the water. This is a problem that we're very concerned about. Studies have shown phytoplankton, the base of the food chain that supports marine life in the area, grow slower or even die in waters that are too acidic. When they die, the food supply for penguins and whales dies off too. Phytoplankton are the food source for everything else down there. The study projects by the year 2100, the waters of coastal Antarctica could see a 100 percent increase in acidity compared to 1990s levels. We're headed off a cliff here, not just for ocean acidification, but for global warming and for climate change in general. But Lewandowski says we can stay away from that cliff if we cut CO2 emissions quickly and drastically. And the answer is pretty simple. We need to stop emitting fossil fuels and we need to switch to renewable sources of energy. Keely Chalmers, Nine News. Lavandusky admits that this is a topic that is not always pleasant to talk about, but she says it's critical that researchers continue conducting these types of studies so policies can be changed now to mitigate damage in the future.